Okay, this is wiring diagram for exhaust, exhaust cause recirculation cooler bypass valve. As you can see here, this is the EGR valve, the EGR cooler bypass valve, and uh, as you can see, the uh, power is supplied by the fuse with 10 amp amps capacity and that power is shared by the turbo charger wind position actuator as well and also by the master flow sensor as well so <laughs> we are going our focus is on this on uh, y2 a208 so the power is supplied by the fuse and that that is constant power it's not changing and the ground side of the uh, uh, vacuum control solenoid is controlled by the ECU so and uh, it's connected to uh, connector K at pen 47 at the ECU. So <clears throat> we are going to test this one. So the uh, power is supplied by the fuse and connected to pen 1 at the uh, control solenoid, uh, vacuum control solenoid. And the pen 2 is the uh, control wire connected to the uh, ECU uh, at uh, pin 47 connector K. So we are going to take measure. So positive lead at pin 1 at the uh, vacuum uh, control solenoid and uh, black lead or negative lead of the voltmeter is going to be a group to be on a good ground and uh, uh, connector will be disconnected from the wiring harness and ignition will be on and we will have 11 to 14 volts or source, source voltage so that is going to be for checking supply voltage uh, so it says checking supply voltage test at harness multiplier so then <coughs> When we had a proper uh, supply voltage to the solenoid, uh, we are going to connect. So this uh, connector K, pin 47 at the ECU is connected to pin 2 at the uh, vacuum control solenoid here, pin 2. As you can see, let me, where is that? that. Pen two to pen two from the vacuum control solenoid and uh, pen forty seven at connector K to the ECU. So <coughs> we will connect the positive lead of the voltmeter of scope meter to pen two at the solenoid because we don't have access to the uh, uh, K47 or connector uh, K and pen 47 at the ECU. And uh, we will connect black lead to a good uh, ground, to a good ground. So when the engine is idling, cooling temp temperature below 36, we will have zero, zero uh, volt on the positive lead of the scope meter or, or reading on the voltmeter would be zero volt. So as soon as the engine temperature reaches 37 or over or about 37, we will have four, uh, we will have a source voltage or 11 to 14 volt. So it means that <coughs> While the engine temperature is below 37, 
So the ECU allows the ground path of the vacuum control solenoid to be grounded through the ECU and it blocks the coolant go through the EGR cooler for circulating. So <clears throat> until the engine temperature reaches 37, so the ECU will cut the ground part of the vacuum solenoid, vacuum control solenoid, and we will have source voltage. So the, the coolant will be then circulate uh, through the EGR valve cooler, and that is going to cool the uh, EG, the exhaust gases to enter, to re-enter the engine. So <clears throat> until the uh, engine temperature or the coolant temperature is below 36, we will have the vacuum control solenoid energized. And uh, so we will have at ground uh, 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 wire uh, 0 0.1 uh, one volt, and as soon as the engine temperature uh, goes above the 37 degrees of Celsius, the ground part will be cut by the ECU uh, for the vacuum control solenoid. So we will have uh, the ground wire of the solenoid 11 to 14 volts or source volt voltage. So let's practically test this on the engine bed. Okay, as you can see, uh, I have connected the uh, red uh, probe or back probe, the uh, connector. This is the control, vacuum control solenoid uh, valve uh, for the EGR cooler bypass valve and uh, uh, I have connected uh, the positive lead of the voltmeter to pin 1 and the negative lead of the voltmeter to the battery negative here as you can see and now I'm going to turn the so so far uh, ignition is off and uh, we have zero voltage. Now I'm going to turn the ignition on and you watch. So let me position this somewhere. If I can position this. So Ignition is off, uh, we have zero voltage. Now I'm going to turn the ignition off. So I have turned the ignition on, and as you can see, we have source voltage or battery voltage. So that. <laughs> So we have got supply voltage to the vacuum control solenoid and now I'm going to check the ground side of the uh, solenoid and uh, check that uh, the operation of the solenoid. connected to the vacuum control solenoid output hose.
the coolant temperature is still below 36 degrees of Celsius. So <coughs> the vacuum control solenoid is still energized by the ECU. And once again the vacuum gate is connected to the vacuum control solenoid output to the EG or cooler bypass valve. The voltmeter shows the <coughs> ground side of the vacuum control solenoid. So the positive bit of the voltmeter is on pin number 2 which is connected to the ECU and is controlled by the ECU uh, by grounding or uh, giving a ground path to the vacuum control solenoid. Now the ground path for the vacuum control solenoid is provided by the ECU right now. As you can see, the voltage reading on uh, pin 2 at vacuum control solenoid is 0 0.139 and the vacuum control solenoid is still energized because the ground path is still provided to the vacuum control solenoid by ECU. The engine, the engine coolant temperature is still below 36 degrees of Celsius. As the engine coolant temperature raises above 37 and the path for the vacuum control solenoid for the EG or cooler bypass valve packed by the ECU and the vacuum also has vacuum also drop to drop to zero and as you can see the ground 
part is cut and the wood meter reads uh, 14.77 at the ground soil of the vacuum control solenoid at pen number 2.